Hey, we're gonna conjure up something fantastic in the workshop next. See you soon. Hey guys, welcome back to the welcome back to the studio, or is what I lovingly call the paint pit. We are going to continue our work on Constantine today, and we're doing pretty good so far. I mean, if you check it out, whoosh, you know, pretty much all we have a little bit of highlights to do, skin and hair. So. Uh, Let's let's uh, get to it, shall we? So what we're going to do is we're going to make him kind of a... I know he's blonde, but, you know, and British, you know. But we're going to make him a little, a little tanned, I think. You know. We'll see. We might go up and make him a little light-colored. But for now... I'm going to start with tan. Then we're going to start with Bugman's Glow for the uh, for the main color of his. Well, not the main color, but the under color of his skin because it kind of has a a ruddy sort of uh, red tone which is kind of like the blood underneath and we're going to start there which I think will be a good spot Start. I'm starting with my small layer brush today. And if you have to go back and clean up some stuff, well, go back and clean up some stuff. That's all right. You know, because he has his hands in his pocket and, uh, A little bit of flesh coming out from that. And if you go into the hair, that's okay because we haven't done the hair yet. We haven't painted the hair. Don't worry about it too much.
There we are. Make sure that we're getting to every nook and cranny and crevice and all that good stuff. He'll look pretty darn good. I do, I do. But hey, what do I know? I'm only the guy that sits with you, you know, week after week. And helps you paint miniatures. Or at least. We go through miniatures. Alright, uh, uh, we're painted the hand, but that's okay. Rather overpaint the hand and uh, check it out, make sure that we are where we need to be. Then go back and fix it. He's coming along. Now he's now got a face. It's not just a black silhouette. The hands are painted. It's coming along pretty okay, I think. going to take our look at that right up and close Katie in flesh tone and again we're taking the small layer brush and this is all small delicate work also help give him the lighter skin tone that we want and again we're gonna pretty much go over the whole the whole of the of all the skin Don't be afraid to take your time. No, but if you mess up too, that's okay.
most things that can be most things that can be done can be undone Or at least I think it's looking good. I know, I know I'm not doing a lot of talking to you guys right now uh, to the screen and to, to you guys out there in general, but uh, huh. it's a little difficult because I'm trying to be as precise as I can. You know, making sure that the face and the hands are getting their due process for for color making sure that we have all of the right stuff okay now that we've done that we are going to take our Reichland Flesh Shade. And we're going to give it a small. Going to give the skin. Oh, see, look. No, I'm all out of focus. Whoosh. I'm in focus here. I'm in out of focus there. But I'm slowly. There we go. Now I'm kind of in focus. It's shook up. Do you know what? We're going to stay with a small layer brush. It just gives, gives you that. It gives you a little bit of control that allows you to put the wash right where you need it to be. And what we're going to do is we're just going to give the skin a quick wash. And for those of us out there who don't know, and I know there's some of us, what washes do is just really provides the shade, um, the shadows for you, which, you know, gives you the, the paint or the provides the uh, a little bit of shading that you need to really start working up the uh, the face you know, face trench coats whatever might need to do, whatever might need to be shaded or whatever might need a shade, a shadow, as you know, as it were. There we are. 
Now we're just going to let that dry. And while we're letting that dry, we're actually going to go and we're going to work on some of the other spots. We're going to clean up some of the spots that that aren't being touched. Any or they don't have the possibility of being touched by other uh, by other colors. So we're going to go back to the Corvus Black, which is the color that we used for his pants. Take a little bit. Off there. And we're just going to fix some areas. We may have overpainted or possibly underpainted. Just to, you know, give you that sense. Things kind of working out. But all it is is really is just tidying things up, making sure things are the right color or what you've deemed them to be the right color. Because like I said before, these are your miniatures. You paint them however you want to paint them. You paint them whatever color you think you want to paint them. And that will be just fine. And this one here, I don't think I quite painted the shirt all, all the way down, so. Now the shirt gets... the final bit of paint it deserves. There we go. There's a belt. The pants are kind of an off black. They're, you know, the, the paint is the paint is called Corvus Black, which is, like I said, kind of an off black. It's not really black, but it is black, which I thought would be perfect for his pants. But he's got a belt. No, oh, that's not, definitely not the color I want. The belt is actually going to be a lot like his shoes. They're going to be black, like black, black. But it's going to take a steady hand. And I feel steady today. So we are going to, we are going to go for it.
kind of goes along with the tie. The tie is also black. I'm going to tidy some of that up too. I said I feel kind of steady handed today and when you feel steady handed you kind of take uh, you take advantage of those times and you just go for it Now, of course, he's got belt loops, so we're going to have to go back with the Corvus Black after the Black Black dries up. The Abaddon Black. And, uh, fix those. But that's okay. Now, I know most of you guys can't see what I'm doing because I pretty much have my, you know, my fists locked around him, so I'm sorry for that. I apologize that you can't see. I would love to have my overhead camera, but I haven't figured out quite how to do it yet. I'm working on it, and when we work on it, and when we get it fixed, it's going to be so much better because then you'll be able to see straight down onto the work area as opposed to kind of at an angle where you see my chest and you know the cool shirts that I wear. But we're working on it. We're getting there. It's very slowly coming. All right. So while we're waiting for everything to kind of dry up in the last, show you how far we've gotten. There we go. There's Mr. Constantine coming along. I like him. Now we haven't done the blonde hair yet, but that's okay. We're not going to worry about the blonde hair right now. That's that's for later. But what we can do is we can do a little bit more tidying on the lower part of the body we can do a little bit more tidying say on the uh, on the trench coat maybe pick out a few spots for some highlights doesn't really need much I kind of like the way it looks right now so we're going to take some Zandri dust Plop that out. And we're just going to tap little areas. Kind of clean it up a little bit. Alright, we've gotten a little bit of the white from the shirt. And it's a little thin. jacket a little bit do just a few a 
little highlights. Doesn't need much. Or at least I don't think he does. Kind of like the way the jacket turned out just with the base color of Zandri dust and then the wash or top of it. Just put a couple highlights right at the sharpest edges. And then I think he will look spectacular. All right. Yeah, I don't want to do much, too much more for the trench coat. I like the trench coat as it is. Okay, dokie. black the black black the abaddon black should be dry enough uh, I should be able to do the belt loops or at least the one we're almost out of time for today but that doesn't matter because I'm still gonna work and then you can come back and see the awesomeness that is Constantine so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on the face we might go a little bit over today what do you guys think grab some of that Katie and flesh tone Now what I'm going to try and do is get a super fine point. On it. And we are going to start. Bringing up some of the highlighted areas, like the nose, the cheeks, the chin. Stuff like that. Jawbone. Or the jawline.
Now I'm not going to do the eyes on them because to me that's just asking for a whole lot of trouble. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave his eyes in shadow with the uh, with the wash. Personally, I think it kind of adds to the character. Not bad. Be another highlight to go. Well, we're not going to worry about that today. We are going to worry about that another day. So until next time, uh, stay safe. Comply with whatever uh, health mandates are out there. Wear your masks. Stay safe. And... Uh, Paint safe. Make sure that you do that too. Make sure that you paint safe, paint safe, paint safe. And until next time, we will see you in the workshop.